Have you been curious to learn about the frameworks and best practices that enable enterprise technology teams to deliver business value? Welcome back to our Crotchis Technology College. We'll be exploring governance, risk and compliance, ServiceNow, Agile Scrum, and IT All 4. So let's get right into it. First up is governance, risk and compliance, which is often abbreviated as GRC. Essentially, GRC refers to the integrated management of three critical areas, corporate governance, enterprise risk management, and regulatory compliance activities. By implementing GRC, organizations aim to take a coordinated high-level approach to overseeing these disciplines. The goal is to enhance transparency, decision-making, and overall performance across the business through consolidated governance, risk, and compliance management. GRC brings people, processes, and technology together to provide an integrated view of risks and how they relate to the various legal, regulatory, and internal policy requirements an organization must adhere to. Governance deals with how a company is directed and controlled. It involves authority, accountability, oversight, leadership, and steering the overall business strategy. Strong governance means having competent people empowered to make major decisions while ensuring clear accountability across the organization. Risk management refers to the process of continuously identifying, analyzing, and responding to risks that could impact key business objectives and initiatives. It allows companies to balance risk versus reward, to maximize opportunities while minimizing threats. Ongoing monitoring and mitigation of risks help achieve strategic goals by reducing uncertainty. Compliance covers adhering to the many laws, regulations, industry standards, and internal policies that apply to an organization's operations and practices. Meeting these obligations consistently demonstrates ethical, socially responsible, and lawful conduct. Non-compliance can lead to fines, lawsuits, and severe damage to a company's reputation. Now let's move on to IT service management, commonly referred to as ITSM. ITSM involves the practices and processes required to design, deliver, operate, and improve information technology services in order to provide value to customers and the business. At its core, ITSM aims to help IT organizations progress from simply reacting to issues to becoming proactive partners that deliver quality services enabling business objectives. Some of the goals of ITSM include improving IT value, performance, compliance, and transparency, enhancing the end-user experience, rationalizing costs and resources, and better managing complexities and changes. The ITIL framework provides comprehensive guidance across the ITSM lifecycle, spanning service strategy, design, transition, and continual improvement. TL helps govern people, processes, and technology for holistic IT service management across the enterprise. ServiceNow delivers powerful enterprise-scale ITSM capabilities through its cloud platform. ServiceNow's system of action unifies services, workflows, and processes for smarter service delivery. Built-in automation, seamless integration, and support for IATIL best practices optimize operations. Some of the key ITSM features provided by ServiceNow include an automated service catalog, incident management to quickly resolve service disruptions, problem management to investigate root causes, change management to coordinate changes, configuration management to track IT components, a knowledge management portal, and reporting tools. Benefits provided by Service and now ITSM include improved service availability, faster issue resolution, increased user productivity, enhanced visibility and control over changes, lower costs through workflow automation, and a unified system containing all relevant IT data, configuration details, and processes. By leveraging ServiceNow for IT service management, IT organizations gain a strategic platform to drive service innovation, ensure system stability and reliability, and deliver real business value from technology investments. Now, let's talk about Agile frameworks and Scrum methods for software development. Agile represents a mindset and set of principles focused on iterative project delivery, close team collaboration, continual learning, and rapid adaptation to change. It prioritizes working software, customer involvement, and responding to feedback over rigid processes and plans. The Agile Manifesto outlines four key values. Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation. And responding to change over following a fixed plan. In a nutshell, Agile enables faster innovation cycles, better alignment with user needs, and the ability to manage changing priorities. 
Scrum provides a lightweight framework to implement agile principles by breaking work into short, repeatable cycles called sprints. Sprints typically range from one to four weeks in length. Let's take a quick overview of how Scrum works. First, the product owner defines a prioritized list of required features called the product backlog. The team selects items from the backlog to complete during the upcoming sprint. Each day of the sprint, a short sync meeting occurs called the daily scrum. The team discusses progress, blockers, and next steps. At sprint end, a finished product increment is demonstrated to stakeholders in the sprint review meeting. Feedback is gathered to inform the next iteration. Lastly, the team holds a sprint retrospective to discuss achievements, opportunities for improvement, and optimizing team performance moving forward. Some of the benefits provided by Scrum practices include increased transparency, enhanced team communication and collaboration, faster delivery of working software, and better alignment with changing business priorities. An increasing number of forward-thinking IT organizations aim to blend agile Scrum approaches with ITSM best practices, like those in ITL. Agile promotes faster delivery and alignment with user requirements. There are some tips for effective integration like maintaining a backlog of service and process improvements, handle incidents and problems via scrum meetings and retrospectives, include relevant ITSM metrics in reporting, follow proper change and release procedures, conduct retrospectives focused on continuous improvement, provide Agile Scrum training to ITSM team members. Service now enables Agile development and DiveOps collaboration between developers and IT staff through its flexible platform and automation capabilities. This helps accelerate the delivery of new services while maintaining stability. By taking an Agile approach, IT teams can respond faster to business needs and deliver innovation more rapidly. Now let's look at the ITL framework, which contains extensive best practices across the IT service lifecycle. ITIL helps govern people, processes, and technology for holistic enterprise IT service management. ITIL 4 represents the latest evolution of the ITIL service value system for the modern digital age. When it comes to managing IT services, one of the most renowned frameworks is ITIL, currently in its fourth version. ITIL 4 represents an evolution of best practices for the modern digital age. It focuses on continually improving services through the Plan Do Check Act cycle to create value for customers and the business. The framework is based on seven guiding principles like focusing on value, collaborating across teams, optimizing and automating processes. Idle 4 also defines four crucial dimensions including people, information partners and value streams. It covers 34 critical IT practices from service strategy development to deployment and maintenance. A core concept is the service value chain, a series of interconnected activities that enable value realization. Overall, ITIL 4 provides end-to-end -end guidance and best practices to holistically manage IT services and maximize business value delivery. It serves as a trusted roadmap for organizations on their IT service management journey in today's dynamic digital world. Which methodology did you find most interesting? Are you using any of these approaches in your own organization? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Arkrot GS Technology College for more in-depth tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.